I need to tell you a secret. I'm not the best content creator. What? But today I'm here again because I built a forex and cryptocurrency tracker which is working with real-time Nasdaq data. If it sounds interesting to you, just stay with me. Plus. So this is not going to be a traditional Excel tutorial. A few seconds from now, you will need to make a decision. But now, let me show you what I built in Excel. So what I got is a fully automated app built in Excel, including a lot of Excel features. What this does for me, it's able to connect to the Nasdaq data via an API. I'm using an API key to access the data. I built a data validation list to switch between the different request types. And I also have a dependent dropdown selecting the subcategory of the data. And with this app, you can pull real-time cryptocurrency and Forex data via an API engine using the Nasdaq data. As you see, I'm using the Power Query, some traditional formulas, tables, and very simple Visual Basic codes. But the best thing about this tutorial that I can show you how you can automatically create a Power Query table with Visual Basic. Let me show you in an example. So what I do, I simply just right click on my query and I'm going to simply delete it. Hit delete, I'm going to remove the related table and I'm going to choose a different type of request. Let's say daily and I want to convert the Bitcoin cryptocurrency to United States dollar. I select the value and I simply hit get data. My app confirms the type of request I want to run, then I hit OK. And here we go. My query table has been created by the Visual Basic code I just did. And don't worry, you don't have to know any Visual Basic code to build this app. Because in the tutorial, I'm going to show you a very simple trick how you can recreate that code. If I choose another type of request, like the real-time data, and let's say I want to get the Chinese Yuan currency converted from Bitcoin, and I hit get data, type confirmed, and then I hit OK. And here we go. I was able to switch back and forth between the different Nasdaq data. I'm also using a support sheet to store some additional information I need to my API calls. These are very simple. I'm using just tables and simple Excel formulas. And now we arrive to the decision. The option A, that you simply just like this video. And if you're interested, then you can find the download link in the comments. And I hope you're gonna enjoy. It's not a protected file. 100% free and open, you can see and use all the codes I built. The option B, that if you want to know more about how to build apps and use the combination of multiple Excel features, then you can watch my tutorial when I built this app. I'm not going to lie, that's not a short video, but that covers a lot of features. Like how to build a structure, dashboard elements like dependent dropdown list, variables, how to create blank queries with M code, what's the actual API what I used, how to get key for it, and how to automate power query tables with Visual Basic. And the trick what I have mentioned. Option C, that you simply just do whatever you want. If you like this video and you want to get the full tutorial to be published, please let me know in the comments.